Greetings, this is Spaghouse 56 coming to you from Beer Review Central. And here we have another Belgian beer to review. This one is a Trappist Ale. And uh, it's a uh, St. Fulian, which I think is how you pronounce it. And let me tell you a little bit about it. This is the this is their blonde ale. Uh, a little bit about the, uh, the brewery itself here. Since 1873, the Friar family has been brewing various beers, among others the same food, the same Fulian. But the history of this beer goes back even further. In the seventh century, an Irish monk by the name of Fulian came to the continent to preach the gospel. Unfortunately, in 655, while traveling through the charcoal forest across the territory of what is now the town of Larue, and Fulian was martyred and beheaded. On the site of his martyrdom, Fulian's disciples erected a chapel, which in 1125 became the Abbey of Premontre and later became known as the Abbe saint Fulian de Rue. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Pepe Le Pew and not. The Abbey prospered until the upheavals of the French Revolution. During these troubled times, it was condemned by the revolutionaries. For centuries, monks have brewed beer, and this tradition has been preserved until this very day. Fourth generation brewers for the Friar family, but still the same passion and know-how. Now this St. Fulian Blonde, blah, blah, blonde and you get all tongue-tied trying to pronounce all these things. The St. Fulian Blonde here has 7.5% alcohol by volume, so it's, uh, it's a fairly stout little beer. It says this light ale has a deep golden color with a smooth, frothy head. It's very perfumed with an unmistakable hint of aromatic hops and a fruity citrus note from the spices used in production. The body has an intense yet distinctive bitterness and a strong malty taste, which is a delight to the palate. Well, that remains to be seen. The overall effect, however, is a slight dryness and hoppiness. So, John, I like this one because he likes hoppiness, and this is says it has plenty of hoppiness. But we will find out on our own. Yeah, let's see. Well, it's definitely a light, pale blonde. head on this is almost pure white. So blonde is a good a good description for this type of beer. It's definitely an unfiltered an unfiltered ale because you can see you can see that it is not a crystal clear beer. You can see, let's see, yep, yeah, you can see it's definitely a light golden color. It has a fair amount of carbonation. Uh, there we go. That gives you a better idea of the color and, and uh, maybe you can see the bubbles. And uh, the head didn't last long at all. So, John, come on over here. Let's see what we can find out about this beer. Okay. Fruit. Get fruit note right off the bat. I don't 
smell any hearts. Yeah, right now, about all I'm smelling is fruit. Is a fruitiness. Well, let's see how it tastes. There's definitely hoppiness in it. Oh yes, this is definitely a hoppy beer. I got a sweet fruitiness right <clears throat> at the start, but it's a, it it's immediately followed by hoppy bitterness. A good bit of hoppy bitterness, I'd say. But then maybe that's just just my palate since since I'm not big on hops bitterness on a lot of hops bitterness. You're the hop man, what do you say? I'll tell you this is a good one. I like it. Mm. It's smooth, the hops kicks in. Exactly. It just carries right on through. And it's definitely uh, it's well carbonated. Yeah. You know, it's not, not, um, it's not like an American, you know, an American Pissner, uh, butt wiper type of carbonation. It's a good medium, medium tangly car carbonation, which is suited for this type of beer. Yeah. Trying to see if I pick up anything else. Sweet fruitiness. Hoppiness. Definite hoppiness. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if it's if the sweetness I'm picking up is malt sweetness. It doesn't really taste malty. Mm -hmm. Just a slight sweetness, maybe just from the fruitiness. Slight citrus note. Pretty good. I like that one too. And some floral notes from the hops. It's not overly bitter. Nothing's over, end, over. Nothing overpowering. It seems this. fairly well balanced. Yes, it is. So, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Got it. Okay. Yeah, this. Uh, well, this is not something that I would want to drink. A lot of, due to the fact that I'm not real big on hoppiness, you know, I don't find it objectionable. Yeah. And uh, if somebody handed me one, I would drink it. I'll take care of it too. <laughs> well, I know you would. Oh, yeah. It seems to me that before we started filming this and you were reading the description, you said something about, I don't think I'm going to like this one. I was wrong. <laughs> this one's got real good flavor to it. Mm. And I'll finish that shortly. Uh, yes, I expect you will. All right then. This is Spec Ops 56, and as you know, this is my faithful Indian companion and cameraman and master solder uh, and all around Man Friday. We're saying so long. And thanks for all the beer. <laughs> okay. All right. <coughs> that was good.